Hi everyone, thank you for joining me on this video. I appreciate your time, your company, and your interest in the subject matter du jour. Andrea Cocker brought up a good, good point in a comment regarding happy sap and how it can resemble the crawler stage of scale, but it is an actual fact, crystallized happy sap. So I'm gonna take this comment and elaborate a little bit more because I have been recently talking about scale a lot and I thought this could be really interesting for someone not to confuse what they're actually seeing with pests. Now, don't get me wrong, if you were to treat against the crawler stage of scale, you wouldn't be doing anything wrong as long as you do it during the daytime. And I say that because we don't want to be wiping the underside of the leaves of Phalaenopsis orchids during the early evening or into the evening. That is when they open their stomata and us wiping away underneath there would introduce possible pathogens and microbes into the stomata when they open up at night to breathe. But the subject of this crystallized happy sap can happen not just on Phalaenopsis orchids, but any other orchid for several reasons. First of all, an orchid can be a prolific happy sap producer, which is great. It also means that the orchid is hydrating perfectly. It's in full growth mode. The thing though, if we don't deal with that excessive happy sap, it can cause all kinds of other little problems. Not just the fact that it crystallizes, that's not the problem, but it attracts pests. The happy sap is full of sugars, and as it oozes out of the pores, those pores are open. They're not wounds, but they're open and entry and gateways into our orchid. A pest that is attracted to happy sap will congregate, so to speak, around the happy sap, and then bring all the buddies along because, hey, this is the perfect buffet. These open pores are very, very prone to infection, and if we do not intervene and get rid of the excess happy sap on a regular basis while it is producing all this goodness, every single opening can cause a problem and cause infections. These infections can then spread to cell decline and then cause blemishes on the upper side of the leaf which is only a reflection of what was happening underneath. In severe cases, all these little openings can become sources for rot. Happy sap always being wet. Now, the only time happy sap will dry is if you have a lot of airflow and very low humidity. That is when all the white starts to appear and that is crystallized happy sap, which really resembles the crawler stage of scale. And you are still not too late to be wiping that off because whether it's crystallized happy sap or fresh happy sap, pests will be attracted to the sugar. So don't consider it a bad thing if you have an orchid that produces extreme amounts of happy sap. Stay on top of it, wiping the underside of the leaf during daytime hours, not at night. A clean cloth with tepid water is sufficient and then just keep checking the underside of the leaves on a regular basis. Maybe you need to do it once a week. In my case, I've had to do it twice a week because this orchid was just going crazy. But also take note that some sticky substance and residue can appear to be happy sap. And if it is on the surface of a leaf, either the happy sap has dropped from the leaf above leaving sticky residue, which will attract pests as well, or that sticky residue could also be a sign of scale. If you do not see any kind of pest on any of the underside of the leaves that you have, please check the stem. I always check the leaves. My leaves were clean. I have lost orchids because of scale buried in the stem causing stem rot. They do their thing, they leave a sticky residue, and then they go and hide and hatch and reproduce. So not to be confused with the crawler stage if you see crystallized happy sap, but definitely, definitely keep that monitored and maintained so as not to attract any secondary issues just because the orchid is happily growing away and producing copious amounts of happy sap. I hope that this little video was of help, that you are not confused now, and I want to thank Andrea Coco for bringing it to my attention because when I checked my orchid and saw crystallized happy sap, I was, yeah. That's exactly what the crawlers of scale would look like. So let me know in the comments if you have this problem or just let me know if this was helpful or if you already knew all about it. Either way, I would love to hear from you. 
Thank you very, very much for watching. Once again, I appreciate your time. Have yourselves a beautiful day. Please, on one condition, though, that you stay safe. Take care. Bye.